they're off. All right, so uh, Aaron versus Maestro. Uh, Maestro is second seed in this tournament with a PBF 34.57, and Aaron is seed 12 in this tournament who has a PBF 35.35. However, a uh, bug we've seen several times anything can happen. So we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, and again, now we're just going to sink into the awkward silence that is World 1, so just enjoy and listen to the wonderful music. Both players getting box jump. Only just a minor, uh, just a minor difference between players right now. Uh, but that's uh, due to start delay and nothing really real skill. And especially uh, with two very skilled runners, uh, nothing very uh, severe will happen much. Um, there will be, you know, choking every now and then, but uh, it's become such muscle memory for these players, especially uh, because they've raced several times in this tournament. So, um, definitely very consistent and very good gameplay from both players. Missed Maestro's feed. Uh, I don't think they either got a uh, shell jump based on the 77s in the pipe, but I, yeah, I don't know. They got it. Rip, it's over. Very good, uh, Castle 1 so far. I believe we're looking at 81. Yep, 81 from both players. Both players are also going for small Mario strats, which is very interesting. Um, however, since they both, I believe, have run low percent. I know Aaron has. I don't know about Maestro. Uh, but since they are very good, uh, no cape runners, I'm assuming they have. So they're probably very used to, uh, the small Mario strats. So, um, I would not doubt it if they went for that. Alright, so 311.9 from Maestro and 311.5 from Aaron. So, keeping a very close race here. Just getting out of the cutscenes here. There we go. Getting out of the cutscenes. And now entering World 2. So, uh, again, we've seen this so many times. Uh, and both these players, as they've shown throughout the tournament, are very consistent players. And uh, hopefully, we'll be seeing some uh, varying strategies and seeing what each of these players uh, is going for in each of the races. Uh, in just this race and in the future races. Right, good Yoshi grab from both characters, uh, from uh, both runners right now. Uh, Aaron bonks the wall, so he gets a 59, and that kind of puts Maestro in the lead just a bit. Uh, with the, uh, the 360 there. Like 
Maestro is taking the lead here. Uh, he did get uh, one in-game second over Aaron, which is around... It is two-thirds of a second, so around 41 frames is an in-game second. So he got about two-thirds of a second lead over Aaron, which is what it is looking like uh, based on when I'm looking at both of these players. Uh, however, again, it's World 2 and DP3 is, in fact, a part of World 2, meaning that anything can happen and one of these players can easily choke uh, in, DP in DP3 or just get some uh, bad spawns with the platforms, maybe not getting clouds and not having safe strats. Uh, 82 door from Maestro, and an 80 door for this final block. Uh, an 80 door from Aaron, so Maestro gaining some time over Aaron. Uh, the doors, and also the boo, also the bounce on those boos there. Like a good DP3 so far, players. Uh, oh, Aaron takes a death there. Um, yeah, DP3 is just absolutely brutal. <laughs> oh, Aaron takes another death there. Loses P speed, bouncing on the coop. Uh, my, uh, meanwhile, Maestro is uh, down in uh, DP4. Uh, keeping a, a small mark right here. Probably going to be uh, picking up a flower uh, from this roulette block here. Doesn't get the midway point. Not really much reason to do so. Alright, scrolls the screen there. And. Alright, Aaron just finishing up DP3 with a 62. That's very cool. And Maestro is now going into Martin. So we'll see what happens there. He'll be ahead or behind his PB. So now, uh, DP3 put in levels distance between each of the players. And that's going to be very costly for Aaron. He's going to have to. Uh, pull out some serious stuff if he wants to catch up soon. Uh, of course, um, there is the obvious uh, chance that both the, or that Maestro could mess up any world at all and he'd catch up, especially since there's only about one level's uh, worth of distance between them. But uh, as always, we can never uh, we can never know for sure who's gonna win. So we'll just have to see what happens. Ooh, Maestro taking a hit there and uh, seeming to uh, be okay. Uh, so losing the fire will definitely cost time. And Aaron, ooh, Aaron losing his fire as well. So, uh, they just pretty much broke even then, since, uh, they can't game time over fire, uh, because of fire kill. sure what Maestro's doing here, actually. Oh, he's going back from his Yoshi. I missed that. Alright. 
definitely a smart decision, because then you'd have to go to the, you'd have to resort to the low percent strats, which aren't exactly, which sometimes won't be friendly all the time. Gets the backup fire, that'll save a good amount of time on loot. Goes for the crush strats with the shell, and ends with the time of 3.45. Um, I, I think he actually forgot to split after Morton. Yeah, Maestro, split, please. <laughs> Great run for Maestro so far. I won't know how he's doing. Can't see his time. <laughs> um. Alright, so Aaron in the cutscene now. Well, Maestro is in. Uh, or will be entering a Vanilla Secret 2. Uh, if Maestro keeps up the pace here, uh, he might be on pace, uh, for a good run. Uh, so he has this level, uh, the next level after that, a fort, and a two-minute auto-scroller. So maybe, if he's lucky, if he keeps up the pace, he could, uh, get a... Or he could definitely save time on this split here, and maybe... It's it happens. Um... Aaron also going for the backup fire flower. Very smart of him. And I believe goes for the crusher strats and enters the time of 360. Still close race. Anything, uh, a simple death could set, uh, the different players, uh, set players apart. Right. So we'll see what happens. Um. Alright, on to Fort for Maestro. So, basically the only real thing he could do right now is just boost, and that's basically it. <laughs> Maestro, uh, entering the second room of the fort, and just ending, let's see if, uh, let's see if he has nice, uh, let's see if he has good, uh, Resnor fight. It'd be very sad if he had a mean Resnor. Alright, seems like the good old Resnor was nice to him this time. Uh, well, Aaron is just finishing up. So, about a level's distance. Like just a little bit. Aaron keeping a fire and Yoshi intact, and Maestro is now in the most exciting level tire game. Weird one. See, uh, we'll see if uh, Bowie Bowie is nice to Eric. Bowie Bowie Resnor. I'm not completely caught up with the lore. <laughs> Alright. Um, entering the fight now, and we'll see how he does. 
Nice. Well done from both players. So, uh, without a death and more, Aaron would have been able to keep up with my show, uh, very well, actually, but unfortunately that death did set him back quite a lot of time. Dying in castles is sometimes just the worst thing that can happen, especially if it's a castle that requires fire kill. Butterburst 2 for Maestro here, and seems to get the shell grab successfully. And Aaron is still in the oddest roller, just uh, nearing the end here, getting close to the end for sure. Sometimes in an auto scroller, just you could lose your mind completely, just lose all your focus, and then your run will just be awful. You'll just lose your focus, and when you lose your focus, you'll start making mistakes. Good room one uh, from Maestro and Ludwig. Uh, so unfortunately I was wrong, uh, my- Uh, a good pace. Uh, with this PB. And still on a very good pace. Uh, just not on par with, uh, on par with this PB right now. Alright, nice, uh, alright, good Ludwig kill. Uh, just very good castle floor. From uh, my stroke here. And now we'll uh, see how Aaron does with his Butterbush 2. Guess the shell grab. Uh, very nice job. Alright, so now it's Aaron's turn for the league, and we'll see how we do. Seems like he's doing pretty good. Uh, lose his P-Speed, though. Uh, didn't take- took kind of a short jump there. His P-Speed. Alright, so, uh, I'm not- I kind of missed what Maestro is doing here. Seems like he's- okay, so he's gonna go back to FOI1 for clips, thank god, I thought he was gonna skip him. I got freaked out there. Gets the backup shroom. Uh... Right, and then we'll just grab the issue here. And then, now he'll go for clips. And then, uh, you never know, Aaron can go over, uh... Maestro here for um, missing clips. Uh, probably won't get a lead, but Aaron can definitely gain time. But, you know, Maestro is keeping up his habits of being a god and uh, gets first try clip. Nice sub pixel. So 
now it's Aaron's turn. Forced to, to start, forced to move. And we'll see how he does on his score. So if he doesn't lose Yoshi here, he won't have to go back, and that'll get, like, around 10 seconds. This is the Fire Flower there. Uh, it's going too fast and wasn't able to ground it. Doesn't go for Fire... Uh, I guess Fire would really only waste around 6 to 10 seconds, optimally or something. I don't remember what the exact number was. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how the players uh, do from here. Okay. Um, all right, so Maestro will now. Aaron, I missed whether or not he got clipped first try. Uh, I didn't know if he got clipped first try, but... Uh... He did get the clip. <laughs> so since Maestro does not have more than one... He cannot go for damage boost strat, or I think he can, but uh, he won't have anything to do quick with. I don't know. I uh, totally. I think he is going for them, but he just won't have a power up for. All right, nice. Very nice job for Maestro. Okay. Very good. Uh, for like the Maestro. Very impressive. Let's see if Aaron gets the the bad bubble. Yeah, he does not get the bad bubble. Ooh, misses the uh, Guma jump there. Thankfully, he didn't get hit by the Chuck. But set him back on the very. I wish I hadn't swam through uh, FOY2 since five stiff. <laughs> I can barely get clips. <laughs> Alright, so now Aaron's turn. Not with Fort, uh, with Roy. And then... Good CI1 so far from Maestro. So for now, Maestro is just gonna have to do just pretty well. Uh, or he doesn't have to play perfectly, but he does have to do pretty well. And I believe Aaron just took a death and... Oh yeah, Aaron takes a death. Takes a death from Clip. Or not from Clip, from uh, Damage Boost. Sorry, someone was not on me. Alright, sorry. <clears throat> oh. I think we're having a, uh... Dang. I believe we have a forfeit from Aaron. I can't see the SRL though, so... I'll go on the SRL. I can't see the thing on speedrun.com, but I do believe that we have a forfeit. Yeah, we do have a forfeit from Aaron. Uh, unfortunately, it was just absolute for Aaron. Um, so I really apologize, Aaron. You looked like you had a, a 
good run going up until uh, that unfortunate death. So, Aaron, if you do, um, if you do want to, you can get in the uh, call for an interview. Uh, it'd be cool to see your opinions on just the tournament and uh, you know what you're doing right now, and just how you feel about this race. So, uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but definitely uh, feel free to hop in a live call and just uh, chat with us for a bit. We'd really appreciate it. All right. All right. I'll focus on most shoes from. Uh, definitely, if you don't wanna, you know. Uh, especially like after having unfortunate stuff happen to you like that, I I really apologize for that. Um, but uh, overall, that was a. I, it seems like you have a pretty good thing going. Um, but, uh, if it's any consolation, you would have kicked my butt anyway, because, uh, I can't even sell the... <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, thank you for, uh, staying, or, uh, anyway, thanks for coming out here and racing. We've, uh, really enjoyed you, we really enjoyed having you in the tournament, so, uh, thank you so much for joining us, and, uh, have a good night. All right, so now it's time for Wendy's Castle, uh, for, uh, from Maestro here. Uh, if Maestro plays well, uh, for the rest of this game, for the rest of the game, he can get a 35 pretty easily. Uh, if he does take a death or even, you know, loses five seconds, uh, he could easily probably 36. He's on pretty decent pace for a good run right now. Or at least for most people. Alright. Amazing Room 3. Uh, or Amazing Room 2, I'm sorry, from Wendy. Because I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> I think I think Maestro's actually saving some time here. Um, for sure. Yeah, seems like Maestro is uh, just safe. Very good. Uh, very good. So, I believe Maestro will just be getting out of the cutscene here. Just in a bit. not really much to talk about. We've seen these levels a hundred times throughout the tournament. Um, uh, I guess all I really have to say is um, Maestro has been doing a very good job in the tournament, and I believe this is a loser's round. Um, I, yeah, I believe this is a loser's round. So, uh, he will be moving on to the next loser bracket, and the challenge here. Let's see who facing. Um, Alright, so it looks like he'll be, uh, whoever wins this round, 
which is Maestro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, he will be going on to face uh, Akisto. And the winner of that will go on to face Steven. And then uh, the winner of that will either go on to face uh, Chabs, Dutch J, uh, Green Death Slaver, Silver Star, and those are the current standings right now. Oh my gosh, guys, I've disappointed everyone. I'm sorry, everyone. Sunken Ghost Ship level ends. <laughs> I'm sorry, was the orb too intense for you? The orb was- Oh, man! Maestro takes a death at the end of, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm way behind here. Uh, going through, uh, Valley 1. Sorry, I was watching the wrong stream. Alright, um... Loses peace speed in Valley, uh, at the end of Valley 1, but... And also taking a safe one at the end there, uh, during the check. Complimenting my orb, thank you so much. <laughs> I was checking challenge, okay guys? Jeez. Tough crowd. <laughs> yeah, so if my shirt keeps up the pace here, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess... Uh, we might be looking at like a 36, 7 maybe? I don't know, so, let's see, in chat, everyone in chat, place your bets on his time. I'm gonna have to go back, and I'm gonna have to rewatch this, and I'm gonna have to see just how loud my orb really was. <laughs> Alright, we got a uh, 3620 from Twitch Master. We have a. Okay, 3620 is dead according to Twitch Master. <laughs> uh. We're seeing an hour, 45 minutes, and 5 seconds from Crypt Lava Doll. Quite mean. <laughs> um, Aaron should have kept going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, DK. That would have made it very close. Aaron may have been able to... There we go. Reaching the end of Bob 2 here. So maybe like a 30... Now good for... Let's see if he gets luck jump. Oh, it doesn't get, uh... Doesn't get luck jump, unfortunately. Um... So yeah, getting out of the last two levels here. That will be the end of his run.
Bowser has more gifts. I'm taking a, I'm taking a bit of a safe one there. Not bad, not, not bad choice. Definitely gaining some time though because he died. All right, so now it's just down to the Bowser fight. It's looking like a thirty, like a high thirty-seven. Though. I guess, but I'm terrible at guessing times, so people in chat, place your bets. I think now would actually be a good time to do so. Nine fifteen. Explain yourself. Oh no! <laughs> One hand resumes. That's. That's. Hilarious. I gotta get in on this one. Oh yeah. Except I have the D interactions of it available. At the end of mine, <laughs> I can't do anything right today. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I just tried to copy and paste. What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. Master might be right, actually. 37. Uh, unless, he, unless he pulls a resin post. Unless he pulls a resin, we'll see what happens. Yo! TM calling it out with 37.48. That was a great race. Or that was a great, yeah, that was a really good race uh, between my Shiro and Aaron. Yeah, nice guess, Twitch Master. And amazing run. Awesome run for Maestro. So, uh, Maestro, if you want, do you want to come into voice chat and uh, get a little interview going here? Talk about, uh, talk about your run. All right, cool, Maestro. Hop in. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, dudes? That, that was a really good run. Ah, <clears throat> uh, well, parts of it were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Parts of it were not. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the sandbar thing, yeah, I was literally typing, like, my explanation for not going for sandbar, and I was like, oh, I've got tons of time. I can just hang out in this little uh, cove here. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, Feistro, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that was like a minute, and then the uh, I was going for the 62 pipe, and I just... That was a very interesting death. Had Mario been facing the other way, it would have been fine. Uh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was being safe, because you can run and grab that block without P-Speed, uh, like nine times out of ten, and I was like, oh, I'll be safe, and I'll just jump. And it just happened to be the perfect jump in many ways, so... <laughs> All right, well, I mean, that was still a great time, better than anything I could have hoped for. Oh well, thanks, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's too bad Aaron. Aaron had a had a bad run, but uh, you know yeah. that happens. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, 
So I guess I think you'll be going on to face Akisto now. So how do you feel about that? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, he's obviously an amazing player. Uh, um, you know, once you once you get down to the uh, this race included, of course. Um, once you get down to the top players, I mean, it's just who has a run and you know who makes a big mistake or or whatever. So. So uh, pretty much all the races from here on out uh, are anyone's. So yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, yeah, but you know what? You made it like really far in the end of the like towards the end of the tournament. So props to you, man. That's great. Oh well, thanks. Uh, uh, anyway, well, yeah. Thank thanks for watching and uh, thanks Anthea, Xanthia, excuse me for the for the commentary. Yeah, no, um, it was I'm bad. gonna. Hey. Oh no, I'm sure it was amazing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to step out here, but uh, cheers, everybody. Have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, Maestro.